this video, we walked through designing our newsletter using one of the ghost themes. In this video, we're going to walk through publishing the first edition of our newsletter. And the process will be similar if you're creating a blog and need to publish your first post. So all the steps here will be similar for newsletters or blogs for getting your first post up and running. If we click on posts here, we can see that there are a bunch of filler or kind of default posts that come with each account that Ghost has already created for us. We can see that they all have a status of published. And if we click into the all posts drop down, we can see that we don't have any drafts or any scheduled posts or any featured posts just yet. And I'd also like to point out at this point that if we click on the all access drop down, you can see that we can also add members only content and paid members only content as well. So we'll get to that in another video, but we can see here that we can also restrict access to our content. So let's click new post and head over to the editor. For our title, we're going to say top finds today. And if we click the plus icon, we have a bunch of elements that we're able to select from. I'm going to add a markdown element to start. It's already there. And we're just going to add the date of our first edition of our newsletter here. So it's going to be a daily newsletter. This one's going out on the 10th. And so now that we have that, we can add our plus sign and we're going to add a divider. And the next thing I'm going to do is open up our side menu here and add a short form of the date to our URL because the URL is going to pull in the title of the newsletter as the slug here, but our title is going to be the same pretty well every day. So we're going to add just that month, day, and year to the end of our slug. So we know that this is the top finds today for December 10th. So we can close that sidebar for now. And for each find in our newsletter, we'll use a toggle element. So click on this plus and head down to our toggle, whereby our product name is going to be the header and a one line description is going to be in the collapsible content. So we're going to add just three products, content and, and opportunities for this first newsletter, newsletter, one kind of for each category. So we'll start with the purple board as our first and we'll add in a quick, short one line description about the product. And we want to add a picture here as well, or an image. And we actually have a GIF for this image, which is great. So we can add in our product, a short one line description and an image. And so we're going to repeat this process. We'll add our divider and again, a toggle for product number two, which is going to be a content and we'll add in our header. We'll add a one-liner about a great podcast episode on breathing and athletic performance and sleep and how all that can help. And instead of an image here, we're going to add a iframe and we're going to embed our podcast episode right here in the newsletter. So it's going to copy that from Spotify and that iframe is embedded there. And if we want to see a preview of it, we can just click preview here then we should be able to see everything. So we can see so far how everything looks. We have our top finds, our date. We have the Kobo board with a one line description in that toggle. We have our GIF. Then we have the Gabby Reese show right here. And we have the iframe right in there. So someone can actually listen to this podcast right from inside our newsletter, which is great. Let's head back into the editor here and we'll add our third part of our newsletter here, which is going to be a franchise opportunity. So again, we're going to add our divider and our toggle. And this is going to be FS8. And for this, we are also going to add our image. Perfect. And now we just need to add a few links. 
So for Kobo board here, we can just select that, add our link in, add a URL. So now we have a link to that product. We can do the same thing with the image here, actually. Let's add a link there, just in case somebody clicks on that image. And similarly, for the Gabby show here, we'll add a link just in case somebody clicks on the title there, even though the episode will be embedded here, there's a link that will take the reader to it externally. And then our last bit here will link to FS8. And similarly with the image, we'll provide a link there also. Great, so now we can preview the first edition of our newsletter. So let's head back into our preview. We can see that we have our top finds today. We have the date, the, oh, looks like we have two dates here. Let's go back. So instead of having our published date be in the, or our top finds today be in the past, let's just update that to current date, saves us there. And actually let's just get rid of that if we're going to have that other date be there right on top. Perfect, so December 13th is there. And I just wanna double check that our URL, perfect, has been updated as well. We have everything we need there so far. And if we head back into our preview, we can see that we have our toggles and our images as well as the podcast episode is embedded right in there and our last one as well. And then we have all of our links. We have our subscribe button. We have our subscribe to FitFinds uh, box here also. We can check out the view in mobile and see how that looks. Pretty good. Everything looks great. It's filling the screen nicely. And we can see that we have our menu here as well. Awesome. Okay, let's head back to the editor and we're going to add a few tags to our post and we're also going to edit some of our metadata. So let's add a couple of tags. Great, so we've added in tags that are relevant to our edition this time around. And let's head into our metadata here. We can see that there are a few defaults. So we have our meta title and description here. Let's add in just the date. And for our description, let's add in a little bit about each one. So we have the Kobo board. And this is counterbalance, just a short kind of blurb, not the full description. So let's go counterbalance glute training. Right, so now that we've updated that, we can see actually exactly what it will look like in the search engine result with Google. And that looks pretty good. So you can see right away that there's a little mini description of what's in this newsletter. So we can go back to our metadata. We can also update a Twitter card and a Facebook card. So this is actually gonna pull in from that metadata and this is the default of, of what it will show. Let's just add maybe the FS8 image here for Twitter and Facebook for this edition of the newsletter. Perfect, so now we can see what it would look like on Twitter as our preview. And if we head back, we can also do the same. And now we can see what our Facebook card and Facebook preview will look like as well. And we can also send a test email to ourselves if we need to. The subject of our email is top finds today, which is fine, that's gonna be the subject every day and it looks like we can publish our first edition here. So we can set it to go live now, or we can schedule it for later. And we don't have any members right now, but it's just going to essentially be published as this demo. We could add ourselves as a test member or send that test email to ourselves. We're just gonna publish and send this right now. Great, so if we go back to our posts, now we can see that we also have a top finds today as one of our published posts. In the next video, we're going to look at editing our primary and secondary navigation menus and managing our authors.